So we start uh, to speak a little bit about uh, Lightning Telecom Lines uh, protection and uh, we will speak a little bit about uh, uh, UPS and uh, some problems that are related to the such devices. Lightning protection. During uh, lightning uh, voltage on uh, telecom lines could exceed 100 million volts and the uh, current also uh, may get, uh, gain very high values like uh, 40,000 amperes. Uh, also uh, it's always uh, such kind of uh, pulse or surge. Uh, so the protection system should be uh, very very fast in order to be able to protect uh, telecom equipment from damage. And uh, also you can see here there is no practical way to protect electronic equipment from a direct light strike. So <coughs> indirect uh, lighting strikes may uh, create uh, very high, very strong electromagnetic field and this field induce uh, high voltage on the lines and uh, <coughs> uh, the high voltage may be induced uh, as on uh, telephony lines and also on uh, ele uh, power uh, electric lines uh, what happens if telephony lines uh, lies inside of building and uh, then they less sensitive for such electromagnetic fields but uh, lines that uh, go out to the building or uh, if uh, the lines are uh, under a light roof so they may be easily uh, uh, affected by lightning so uh, there are uh, several uh, things, basic things that uh, we always must do during installation telephony equipment at the customer site. <coughs> First of all, uh, if we are speaking about FXS lines, so lines where analog telephones connected. Uh, in some cases, uh, uh, in the building there are some old tel uh, even not uh, working telecom lines that goes out and works as antenna so it's uh, just <laughs> carry high voltage to the patch panel 